uh, when i came to delhi in 1995 at that time in delhi the air quality was seriously bad we used to feel you know uh, pain in our eyes when we go on the road sides but after that thanks to that cng which came in 2001 uh, which has improved the air quality of delhi a uh, quite that sulfur dioxide even the uh, fuel alteration policy which government has implemented that has improved the air quality of delhi in first decade of to the, uh, this uh, from 2005 to 6 around but after that since 2007 it and 8 again that all the pre cng gains we have gained that all has been lost again the air pollution trends in delhi has been increasing even i have worked on uh, that uh, composite environmental pollution indexes for cpcb in that i found that even in india all the industrial clusters like almost 100 city clusters has been studied and air pollution levels in most of the cities were you know at the alarming level so the air pollution trend is increasing because of increasing the traffic movement because increasing the uh, construction activities because of increasing uh, the public uh, you know lifestyle so this is all uh, the pattern is changing but only the thing is once we are doing the research we are finding out that the pollution the composition is also changing like earlier we used to measure only spm and pm10 and we were having the standards for spm and pm10 by national ambient air quality monitor stand, standards but after looking at the impacts uh, of pm2.5 government uh, like cpcb have uh, started a new guidelines and new standards have been uh, started in 2009 in which pm2.5 has been added and other pollutants like uh, benzene btx has also been incorporated for the ambient air quality uh, monitoring so definitely the concentration of the pollutants in air is increasing from last 15 years uh, even after taking so much of uh, you know uh, fuel alteration uh, things desulfurization of fuel has been done cng has been introduced but still the pollution levels are rising regarding education of the masses government uh, is basically uh, you know uh, creating the awareness like they are uh, uh, they are installing various you know monitoring stations they are increasing the number of monitoring stations throughout the city like uh, and they are like for making the people aware now uh, there is lot of pressure on the government from ngt from supreme court from delhi high court so they have been forced to take the actions like uh, Uh, you know uh, green cess act you must be knowing that green cess has been implemented for all the in, uh, vehicles entering into the city another thing is uh, like uh, there is a complete ban on the registration of uh, vehicles like diesel driven vehicles which are of more than 2000 cc engine capacity lot of steps like there is a uh, you know um, government is uh, also uh, they have been asked by ngt that not to use any diesel driven vehicles in the delhi so lot of steps they are taking and lot of media coverages are ha- happening because uh, just to make people aware even uh, there is uh, heavy penalties has been introduced by the government for uh, uncovered and uncontrolled construction activities so in the, this way people are making aware about it even the supreme court has released the notice that people who are having respiratory illnesses or the senior severe illnesses they should move from delhi during the winters when the conditions are very very uh, severe in delhi so lot of steps has been taken by the government for uh, making the people aware about it uh, if you will see that air pollution air does not remain at single place it keeps on moving it disperses actually so but the impact is more on the local and again that impacts depends upon the geography of the city the climatic condition of the city so sources are confined but the thing is once it are, uh, the emissions are released into the air if tr- meteorological conditions are favorable or you can say the environment is unstable so these pollutants can move upward in the atmosphere so they will not harm much to the lower level people like on the ground but like during the winters when the temperature conditions are you know uh, temperature is very low so due to the inversion factors that pollutants will remain trapped on the ground level so that may create more impacts of air pollution the concentrations will be much more higher during that time actually if i will take the case of the delhi city so delhi is surrounded by many other growing cities like if i will take the example of sonipat noida gurgaon or bhiwadi all these are making the clusters basically so i am saying that delhi we are once we are talking about delhi is the most polluted city air polluted city we are not considering all these growing cities which are 
contributing to Delhi's air pollution because air will will not remain as I have already said it will not remain in one city like if I'll say that De Delhi the wind direction of Delhi the predominant wind direction in Delhi is northwest all the pollution traveling to Delhi if I'll take the case of Jhajjar, Sonipat lot of brick cleans are there and they are using very poor quality of fuel like you can say the rubber chappals they are using uh, for the burning the uh, you know for, and even the plastics they are using so with that whatever the emissions which are coming out of these brick cleans they are laden with heavy toxic you know chemicals and compounds and which are coming to the Delhi's AO so they keep definitely they are uh, traveling from other cities to Delhi and they are coming so it will not confine to one place actually I will not say that if you are uh, staying in a Delhi, uh, uh, staying in a city like Mumbai, which is near to the sea, there will not be any pollution. Pollution will be there, but they are lucky that they are there is a water body. If the pollution is uh, sources are there, pollution is releasing, but due to the their favorable climatic condition, that pollution get dispersed very easily, or even that pollutants get condensed and shower off easily. So uh, the situation is much better if we will compare the case of Mumbai and Delhi basically plants are the best sink for any air pollutants there are the plant species if you will take the case of neem so it will sink lot of air pollutants I understand there are pollen problem but only certain people are you know uh, you can say that they are uh, having the problems with such kind of or allergic to these pollens but they are the biological agents so they will not definitely harm that much as compared to the other air pollutants which are toxic in nature so if you will plant the trees definitely they will absorb all these toxic laden particles so many other gases like toxic gases sulfur dioxide nox lot of VOCs they will absorb so only and even the pro uh, problem of pollen is comes only in the weather of you know because in Bangalore the humid weather is there so because of that the problem is much more severe but it is not that harmful as compared to the other air pollutants impacts so I, I still prefer that plantation is very very important because that will stop even the pollutants to travel from one city to another city yeah I feel that people should you know uh, they should live healthy lifestyle they should always you know prefer to you know drive less or they should but even there is a question mark if I will say that people should do cycling so the roads of Delhi are not that safe so they will drive so only thing is ki like first message which I would like to give whether government is taking initiatives or what time they will take but people should understand their health is very important they should take the measures to stop or to reduce their exposure level to the pollutions so everybody should be like how they can protect their health which is very very important